I do think that sharing is actually the most transformational, and, and here's why. So, so first of all, sharing is the only way to allow people to get a ride, people from all walks of life, from across the income spectrum, to get a, a ride whenever they want. When it's the only way to make on-demand use universally affordable by reducing the cost per ride. So you need sharing to do that. Sharing also reduces vehicle miles traveled through better passenger aggregation, which ultimately will reduce congestion and, and carbon emissions. And then lastly, and this is probably maybe the thing that I'm, I'm most personally excited about, is that sharing increases the spatial efficiency of transportation, which will ultimately empower regulators in cities and departments of transportation to reclaim street space from cars and reorient them, reorient street space toward people. More parks, larger sidewalks, parklets, plazas, and that's going to have a, a transformational impact on the quality of life in cities. So looking at the framework for what is smart transportation, a lot of the same elements that we saw in the plan that was released today, and that is first starting with infrastructure. Is the infrastructure um, smart and connected? Are the, a are the assets being leveraged appropriately? And are we not even only doing preventative maintenance, but predictive maintenance, where we can anticipate before something breaks that it needs to be fixed? Data is perhaps the largest opportunity that we have to have an outsized impact for a relatively small investment. And that can be used for everything from making day-to-day real-time operations and decision-making. Do you decide to reroute that train? Do you skip the station or hold it? Um, making it more efficient. Tied very closely to that is how do we have a more customer-centric experience? <coughs> this is something that we have so much to learn from from the private sector. And finally, um, policy and process innovation and how that's tied to revenue generation. There's so many incredible models for how authorities that manage public transportation can be better uh, managed. And so we're looking at, so that's how we'd see that an entity that is smart on transport, on public transit is, is encompassing all of those elements. It's all in the service of what outcomes, right? So what outcomes do we care about in society? Um, do we care about public health impacts? Do we care about congestion? Do we care about travel time? Do we care about employment? Um, environment, of course, sustainability. I mean, these are the issues where we want to be part of that conversation and shaping what those priorities are, what those key performance indicators are in cities um, to help shape what the solutions look like. Because we don't want to basically create solutions for the sake of creating solutions and then pitch them to cities. We want to work with cities to identify what the problems are. So Ford has spun up um, two challenges so far called the City of Tomorrow Challenge, one in Pittsburgh and one in Miami with Miami-Dade to identify, to basically crowdsource solutions to transportation questions. Um, so part of the equation is figuring out what the problems are in a local application. We both see an opportunity to work directly with transit agencies, providing software algorithms and analytics for those agencies so that they can basically transform an existing fleet into a smart, dynamically routed uh, mobility solution. And then also we offer turnkey solutions for uh, either governments or businesses um, or direct to consumer who want to offer those types of solutions directly to people. There's two aspects to smart transportation. For new companies that we see in for hire transportation, those are all dispatched by app and bring on thousands and thousands of new passengers and new drivers every month um, and provide a tremendous amount of mobility, especially in the outer boroughs. Um, the smart part doesn't come from them. <coughs> they are really smart and really good at what they do. The smart part comes from government and figuring out how to make sure that the cities get the best aspects of this transportation um, with minimizing the externalities. And that's where cities have to be smart, have some foresight, and figure out what the right balance is between letting the market operate and where we need to rein in.